Hello, this is John from Alpine Backcountry Rental in Tomamu, Hokkaido. Now, in our rental, we use quite a few different Alpine touring bindings. We have several different tech bindings that we send out, and we have several frame bindings. And this is a series of videos showing you how we set up these bindings. Now, today, the first one we're going to look at is our most popular frame binding, and probably one of the lightest weight frame bindings, and that's the Tyrolia Ambition. First thing we need to do is check the BSL, or the boot sole length, of the boot that we're going to fit into the bindings. Now, that's not the Mondo point or any other way of measuring the boot. That's the actual sole length. Now, this is the boot that I'm setting up today. And if you have a look just there, you'll see where the boot sole length is printed. And this one is 340 millimetres. Now, before we start playing with the binding, we want to have the right screwdriver. So this is a positive drive screwdriver, and it's not going to damage any of the screw heads. So we're going to use that today to make all our adjustments. Now, once we've ascertained the BSL, or the boot sole length, we then want to set the main body of the binding as close as we can to that boot sole length. So what we do is we lift up this heel lever, or the climbing aid, and then we lift the main body of the binding up, so what we want to do is unscrew this bolt. Don't take it all the way out. Just loosen it until the telescopic section actually moves up and down. And then we want to set it to the closest marker to the boot sole length. Now, in the case of this boot, it's 340. These are 10 millimeter increments from 260 to 350. And the boot we have is 340. You may have boots that are 335, 337, 331. So you set it to the closest increment in here. Now, the, the next thing we want to do is uh, set the touring heel. Now, the touring heel on our skis is set on a demo plate or a rental plate. And this has corresponding 10 millimeter markers that correspond to the markers on the main body of the binding. So what we want to do, there's a little screw at the back. We just loosen that off, set it to 340 and tighten it up. So now we lock the main body of the binding down. Lock the climbing aid lever. Now the toe piece of the Tyrolli Ambition will take both Alpine Touring boots and Alpine Resort boots. So we can adjust the thickness to take into account the boot that we're using, the thickness of the toe. So we do that with this screw here. Now another element of this toe piece, really important part, is this gliding element. And this can give constant release values for your DIN setting to make sure that you do safety release from this binding, even with a thick knobbled boot. Now the next thing we want to do is get the boot into the binding so that we can adjust the rear pressure screw to get that boot sole length exactly right for this binding. But before I do that, I actually loosen off the toe piece to make sure that this part of the boot goes right into the front of the binding. That way I know when I set the, the forward pressure screw, it's accurate. So I've already done that, so we'll put this in and lock it into the binding. Now at the back of the binding here, this is my forward pressure screw just in here. And this does the fine tuning of the boot sole length. And what we want to do is to make sure that that screw head is flush with the body of the binding. Now it's really important that that rear bolt is flush with the housing because this makes sure the rear pressure is accurate and you don't pop out of the binding too easily. Now the next thing I do is to adjust the toe piece to the thickness of the boot. Now you can see here it's moving up and down, okay? There's a lot of air underneath. So what I do is I take that down and I just look through till I can just see a little gap, a very, very small gap. You can use a piece of A4 paper for this, but you can eyeball it. And that looks pretty good. Now there's no excess movement, but it's really important that the gliding element is free. And you can see there the gliding element is free to the touch. It's very important that that gliding element is not locked in, which you can do by over tightening that bolt. Now I want to just double check the rear pressure screw because sometimes when I adjust the toe piece, it changes the dimensions. So we unlock, put the boot back into the binding and just eyeball that rear pressure screw and it's flush, excellent. Now the next thing we need to do is the DIN setting front and rear. Now I do the rear one with the boot in the binding because it opens up access to this rear screw. So this is the rear screw, and this is the window where you can see the different 
levels. This is a one to 10 din setting. So we just adjust this rear screw to the level that we want. Now then we want to pop the boot out. So we can do the front din. The window for the front din setting is underneath the boot. It's just there. And the screw for it is down here at the front. Now a couple of basics on how to use this binding. Put the boot back into the binding. And we can use a ski pole just to lift up the heel loop. And now we're in walk mode. And we use the same pole to put us into the different heights for, the, for climbing. So the climbing aid has actually four different ones, but we only really need those two. Now, it's really important to use the climbing aids because it takes the pressure off your Achilles tendon and off your calf muscles and actually gives better grip with the skins. And you can easily just put that back into the right position with your pole. and lock it down. So you don't actually have to take the boot out of the binding to go into hiking mode or to, to get into your climbing aid modes. And just finally, a couple of ways to take care of this binding when you're out in the mountains. When you're in climbing mode, it's very important not to telemark turn because this has just got a very, very simple pin which can be easily broken if you're putting too much pressure on it in this position. And the other thing is, if there's snow and ice building up in the touring heel, use the gloved finger just to clean that ice out. Don't use your pole because that'll scratch it and that'll create worse ice. Okay, that's the Tyrolia Ambition.